Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this exciting Mr. Media tutorial, I'm going to show you how I use 3D LUT Creator in my actual color workflow now. It took me a while to sort of figure out where this program lives in a professional workflow because it's an amazing piece of software, it's just a little bit weird. So, here inside Resolve, we're going to go through a little fake tutorial. So you're going through a color session and you're sort of brainstorming with the director and you're going through looks, you're doing all sorts of crazy stuff. You've got a primary grade going on, you've got stuff masked, but you're just sort of trying to figure out where the punch is. And let's say it's a music video. So you go through and you're just scrolling through your LUTs saying, cool, whatever. And then he sees this and you know, you think of course, oh, it's not gonna be this. This is ridiculous. This is of course from the house LUTs pack on meastnewmedia.com slash products. There's some weird ones and some, you know, less weird ones. And he sees it and says, yes, that's amazing. I want that, but I don't want to lose the detail. Now with 3D LUT Creator, there's a way, then this is really cool to extract and do a separate correction to basically extract what a LUT is doing and sort of remake it yourself a little faster. So also if you're getting like LUT references from clients, like maybe they shot through a LUT on set to get the creative juices going, you can start with this and now you can sort of pull it apart without having to remake it from scratch. So we'll go through and we'll drop this 3D LUT Creator OFX plugin on here. And so it allows us to do a little round trip and we'll do open 3D LUT Creator. And now so we've got our image here and we'll go over to mask and we'll go to load a LUT. And here we've pulled up our LUT location. So that one that we we're looking at was tin tips. And you see this, it's a pretty weird LUT. But what we can do is go over to this little triangle under the mask section and go to extract RGB curves from external LUT. And you see nothing happens to the image, but that's a good thing. Nothing changes. So go over to the curves tab. And now you can see, well, there's a weird stuff that's happening here. So that's step one. And then step two is we can actually change this. So hit this M to RGB and this will put our luminance correction on our master curve and all our crazy chrominance adjustments on the RGB curves. So we can turn off our master and you see right now we get all this detail back. We still get our crazy colors. And also, like I said before, if you're getting a LUT as a reference and you know, this maybe got some weird stuff going on, you can also go and like correct stuff. So maybe you aren't losing as much detail and stuff. So we'll go over to our red curve and we'll pull this back in. Just sort of get stuff a little bit less clippy here and pull this in there we go and now i've got that and then you just hit apply and i've got that same crazy look it just looks you know way better on this footage now so if i hit Control y to create a new version i'll go ahead and just delete this node add it back in and put tin tips on here and now if we a b these versions with Control n you see this is the one we put through 3d Elect creator and sort of smoothed out to be a little bit more grade friendly and this is before where it's got all this clippy detail which is you know maybe that's part of the vibe you know sort of like a tin type effect but here you got these same weird colors that the director maybe really liked and now you've got them going on so of course just like with any LUT you can also of course go through and you can adjust the opacity here get it going do whatever you want or you can also hop back into 3d LUT creator and you can create these nice little masks because LUTs are pretty lightweight processing wise. So if you're on sort of a less nice computer, you can do a lot of really wild corrections in here. I'll make more videos on 3D LUT Creator whenever I think of more cool stuff to do. But you can go through and say, maybe we want to bring a little bit of skin back and go ahead and mask in there. We want to keep our wild outsides. Got that. And that's just masking our luminance, but we can also do masks based on the like red channel. So that might be even a little bit better for our skin. And just pull that in some and that bring it back. So now we've got, you know, a same inspiration from that same look that the director for some reason really loved. But it's just, you know, a lot more grown up looking. So now we get these wild colors and these these crazy things. And you know, there's a little bit of stuff we should probably fix down here eventually. But just for really quick, we can go through and we can take a director's sort of mediocre idea and we can turn it around and make it into a good idea because now this looks pretty cool, I think. Now, this is not the only thing that 3D LUT Creator can do. It can do so many things. This is just sort of where I found it in my workflow where I like to use it because you know it does take some time and I normally try to grade reasonably fast because color grading is not the cheapest thing per hour. And normally things don't need all of the crazy stuff that 3D LUT Creator can do. But if you want to see more 3D LUT Creator tutorials, let me know. But one of the best things about 3D LUT Creator is actually their YouTube channel. So even if you don't want to buy the plugin, which there will be a link in the description below, it's an affiliate link. So if you get it through there, 
then, you know, I get a little kickback, which is always nice. Some of the tutorials are in Russian, but you can read what the English software says, right? I'm sure you can. And it's just really, really good, really in-depth. I know there's like a lot of people in the comments that are wanting like really crazy and detailed stuff. The 3D Luck Creator YouTube channel has got you covered with this all these different color space transformations and like masking on different different color spaces. It's it's very cool stuff. So check them out. Um, if you want to see more 3D Luck Creator tutorials, be sure to let me know since there is this OFX plugin now. It's a lot more useful in professional work. And like I said, it's got all these cool little features that are really good for that. So there's you know one or two other things that I'll probably make a video about for sure just on my own of ways that I've used it actually in production. If you're still around here, and you don't already know, check out mistymedia.com slash products. We've got these LUTs and we've got some other ones that require less finessing. So if you hit control Y, let's just go ahead and, and look through some of these guys. So we've got the beauty LUTs on sale right now, which is actually made all in 3D LUT Creator. We've got all this cool stuff. There we go, gentle afternoon. That's pretty nice. It's always fun to look through these. Let's see, people, I really like these added life ones. They do some cool stuff to skin. We might need to dial back our, you know, primary some, but it's just like that. Got a much sort of more vibrant image. So check those out. Beauty LUTs, Swiss LUTs, house LUTs. We've got all sorts of LUTs. LUTs left, LUTs right. I made all the beauty LUTs inside 3D LUT Creator. So it's got some really wild stuff that goes on in there while still looking good. So once again, I've been Theo with Meester Media. We have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye. <music>